most important points for success is about being a master communicator. Can you talk about what being a master communicator means and maybe some example of that? Sure. Whenever you give a talk, first of all, every young person who I've counseled, I always say, if somebody invites you to give a talk, give a talk, whether it's a Jewish community center, YMCA, whatever. That's critically important to get in front of people. Uh, secondly, be organized. Tell them you're going to cover five points, cover those five points, and get off the stage. It's as simple as that. And being able to communicate, very, very important. Lowell Thomas, a very famous person, once said, the ability to articulate or communicate opens up doors beyond your wildest dreams. Oftentimes people who are very good communicators, people say he's really smart, or she's really, they may not be that smart, but they're a damn good communicator and they open up doors for them. So being able to communicate, critically important for successful people. So are you talking about being a verbal communicator because you talk about giving a speech, mm -hmm. or does it also include written notes, talking on the phone, writing letters, et cetera, especially important in this day and age of texting and abbreviated communication, even an email. I think in virtually all, but critically important uh, verbal communication to somebody. I meet with patients on a one-on-one -on -one basis. They need to know you're interested in them. I'm not looking at the market. I'm not looking at this or that. I'm looking at that patient and I'm articulating what I think they need to do to be, become successful. So that, that kind of communication is critically important. Improve your writing skills, speaking skills, and computer skills. Those are the keys. Mm -hmm. So in terms of a good communicator, just I want to reiterate because being a good communicator, a lot of people don't even know, I'll call it, where to start. So it's thinking about who you're talking to, what they need to hear from you, and then being able to articulate it clearly. Is that? I, I would agree, and I would say s simply that focus on their needs, mm -hmm. not, not yours. Well, right. They're interested in themselves. So that, those are the kinds of things that you want to emphasize in your conversation. What will make them healthier, right. wealthier, and wiser? Right. And from their perspective Absolutely. as well. So that I talk to, I call it my grandmother differently than I talk to my niece or nephew. Yes, and that communication also goes two ways. We call it motivational interviewing. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, if I'm interviewing an obese individual, I'll say to them, what weight do you think you should be and why? Oftentimes, they'll tell me 20 pounds less because I was that six months ago. They're giving you the answers. In other words, instead of saying to them, you ought to be this or that, let them tell you. Mm -hmm. That's the best way right. to communicate. Great. Thank you so much, sure. Bear.